Hello everyone, I'm Jenna. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. And this game is called Excavation Earth. And this is what it looks like. So I have a few extras because I was a supporter of a Kickstarter. So mine's going to come with a few extra uh, things, some expansions, metal coins, which are cool. So of course, I'm going to start with the basic box first. This is really cool artwork, like aliens. This game is about a futuristic setting on Earth. There's no humans. This is many, many years in the future where all humans are extinct. And there's different alien groups that try to do excavations and collect different resources. And they're trying to find artifacts that they can sell on the market, which is in an alien bid. So they're trying to collect historical artifacts. So that's kind of the concept of this game, which is pretty cool. So of course, rule book. See what it looks like. I realize I really like the font that they are using. It's a very nice, clearly defined and clean looking font. So here are the different factions. And of course the game scoring. Here's a solo mode, which I love. And the reference sheet. Cool. Okay. Here are the punch boards, very nice colors. A lot of different pieces. This is some sort of currency. Let's see what the game board looks like. Of course, you have your Earth map. Cool. Looks like there's different colored artifacts that represent different areas. As you can see on the reference, there's different colored backgrounds so that matches up with these. Very cool. Um, here's all the different factions. And this has a recessed layer on it, which I really love. Again, more recessed layers. This one, I believe, represents the different factions and uh, when you're selling. So I think it's something related to demand varies depending on how many items you have available and what the value is. And then it depends on what you can you know, trade with the artifacts and how you sell. So I'm going to have to read the rule books. But if I remember right, that's what this is for. Okay, here are the player aids. So there's the different actions, how much things cost, what can happen, what you need, outcomes. Very straightforward. Cool. And these are the different player cards, depending on which one you want to pick. We have a psychic. Pilot, uh, cloning, this is for solo only. Very nice that they have one specifically for solo. A merchant, an excavator, 
a buyer. Very nice. They're very sturdy, nice quality cardboard. Some often have issues of being lit a little bit flimsy, but these are nice. I don't see that they bend very much at all. I know that is an issue with some games, but these seem to be pretty good quality. Okay, so now the different components. Obviously these are when you're at the market trying to sell things. They're actually different shapes and they're a little bit more unique, which is nice. And these are just simple cubes. Typically, they're for trading. So that's the typical use, some sort of trading cubes. And you can see multiple colors. Kind of a unique combination of colors. And here we have the different players. <laughs> this is the cool part. So that is all of them. As you can see, there's different alien shapes. That one, I'm not sure what it's for. But the rest of these obviously match with the different uh, cards that you saw earlier. Very cool. Alright, so there's a lot of cards here. Okay, I'm going to have to replace some of these cards. It seems like maybe there was an error. Um, these are supposed to replace travel cards in the main deck. I know that the publisher did mention that there was some mistakes during the printing, so you're going to have to replace some things. And... Uh, here in the rule book, there's a little peel out sticker that you're supposed to cover up, uh, replace a part of the rule book, which is really nice that they just decided to do this instead of waiting and postponing it a long time. And they can always just send out a replacement later, but they have something now, which is good that they caught it early enough and not too late. Okay, so I have to remember that. And these are some things that are going to have to be replaced here. So these are the ones that are going to be replaced. So you can see it has the gray part to it. And you can see here it has more of the different colors. Yellow, greens, reds, oranges, purples. So that deck is called the travel deck and obviously you can see the different colors represent different areas on the earth. So I'm assuming that you have to spend something to be able to travel to those specific areas. So you're going to have to manage your cards and figure out which places you want to go, if you have enough resources to go there, you know, how you're going to pay the cost to get there and do the excavation so that you can get the artifacts. So that's your travel cards.
These seem to be related to the faction merchants and how that works I'm not exactly sure but it seems to be related to them because of the different colors. Seems like these are some sort of perk cards. So I'm not exactly sure how that works either. Okay, so if you can see on the back, there's three different aliens. Those are related to the solo game, so these are going to be used when you play the solo mode against the zoo aliens. So those you want to keep separate. So that is the main box. Just very simple, straightforward, clean, nothing too much, not too many parts. I'd say this is a middleweight game, not too complicated and heavyweight. So that's really good. So now I'm going to move on to the next part, which are the extras. Okay, so I got a bag here. Very nice velvet-like texture. And inside are the metal coins. I think this is going to be the fun, exciting part. Very nice, very shiny gold color. These are dollars and five dollars. Very nice and a nice weight to them. These are definitely much heavier, obviously, because they're bigger and thicker. Very nice quality. And like I said, they have weight to them. So this is another extra uh, for the artifacts. And this is nice because it's a mini expansion, a very short edition with the artifacts that you can add in. And it explains a little bit more of how to use that with this little card. Again, very simple add-on just to add a little bit more variety to the game. Very cool. And this is another expansion, the second wave. And this is just adding more modules. So again, more variety to include in the game. I'm not a fan of a fold-out rule book. I'd much prefer an actual like booklet or just something shorter than doing a fold-out. So that's just something that I like. I'd like something to be more clean. But you can see it shows the different cards. There's some new rules, solo mode. You can see there's two, three, four different modules that you can add to the game. So you can use one, two, three, four, whatever you like. So that's nice. Very cool. 
and this is for our module four. These are the different alien factions. Module three. Again, this is really easy to identify which parts match with each other. These are extra factions. Awesome. And again, this is related to your factions. So, what did you think? I really like it. I love the concept. I think that it's got really cool artwork, kind of weird looking aliens, but at the same time, makes sense, you know, that they would want to excavate and sell the artifacts, so that's cool. The game itself, it doesn't seem like it's too complicated to play. So I, again, I tend to say it's more middle to lightweight. Uh, there is some more modules if you want to add a little bit more complexity and variety. So you can add on, and I think that that gives it a really nice balance. So if you're in the mood for something easier, or if you're in the mood for more of a heavyweight game, it kind of includes everything. So I like that concept. And the coins are beautiful. They're so nice. They have a good weight to them. Oh, I love it. So what do you think? Do you want to see a review, a gameplay? Let me know what you want to see. If you like this video, go ahead and click like, share, share this video, and if you want to provide support in other ways, I do have links down below of two ways you can support. First is through Patreon. If you look on there, there's different levels starting with just a dollar. If you want to do that a monthly support and there's perks in exchange for your support monthly, which is really nice. And the second way is a one-time any amount buymeacoffee.com. So there you can just donate any amount for one time, kind of like a tip or, you know, buying me a coffee in gratitude of my effort for making these different videos. Of course, I love coffee, so I'd really appreciate it. <laughs>